Recently on my streams, y'all have been asking which characters you should wish for in 5.0, and today I'm here to answer that. Hey there, if you're new here, I'm System, and I have too many hours clocked in Genshin Impact, from wrecking Imaginarium Theater and Spiral Abyss, to damage testing and speedrunning, and I've helped plenty of people improve their accounts either on stream, on YouTube, or in my Discord. So let's start out by looking at my most recent Spiral Abyss full clear. I promise this will all come full circle, so just bear with me for a moment. The teams I used were Arlequino, Emily, Toma, and Baiju on one side, with Navia, Farina, Zhongli, and Bennett on the other. For either team, the main damage dealers, Arlequino and Navia, could be replaced by other characters, and the teams still operate pretty darn well, just maybe a bit differently. Any pirate DPS could take Arlequino's spot, and while Navia's team is a bit more tailored for her, you could get away with swapping in Zhongling or Wanderer or Risley. When it comes to supports, not only can characters like Yulan, Bennett, Farina, Shan Yun, and Zhongli synergize with each other, they're necessary for someone who's looking to deal tons of damage with lots of different teams. They're what gives your DPS's flexibility and room to breathe. Now, bringing this full circle and applying this to the 5.0 banners, who should we pull for? It seems like Mulani and Kinich will be DPS characters or at least very damage oriented. Now let's consider who's running beside them. Kazuha in the first half and Raiden Shogun in the second. If you're building your account, it's pretty clear cut. Go for the reruns. Kazuha buffs your team's EM and can increase your main DPS's elemental damage in the right situation. And Raiden Shogun can work as a DPS or support or sub DPS all rolled into one. Taking into account their best in slot artifacts and free to play weapons, it is a no brainer. Kazuha wants Viridus and Venerer, which any animo support needs, and Iron Sting, a craftable weapon. And Raiden Shogun usually works best with Four Piece Emblem of Severed Fate, which is useful on Xingxiu, Yilan, Xiangling, and more with the Inazuma fishing weapon, The Catch, which you can get to R5 for free. So these are my picks, because they'll stay relevant, Kazuha a little bit more so than Raid. People who pulled for Nouvellet might just drop him to make room for Mualani and regret the primos they spent on him. This risk is greatly reduced for support characters, who tend to stay relevant long after the DPS counterparts have fallen from grace. Now that you know what characters to wish for in 5.0, you're probably wondering how to pick which artifacts to level and how to build your teams. Well, you're in luck. I have just the videos for you. One going over how to tell which artifacts to level depending on how far your account's built in Genshin, and a playlist on how to build teams and a better understanding of elemental reactions. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time.